So today uh, we're doing one more Microsoft Sentinel hunting. So let me go back here. I have hunting thing as I told you in my previous video. Uh, we have all these templates. So what I'm gonna do is last time we did uh, conditional access policies and uh, we were looking at the data into like 30 days and when I'm talking I'm looking at the screen yes I may not be able to have a uh, eye contact with you directly I apologize for that so we have that and what I'm gonna do is find an interesting one here uh, and the results you're seeing is basically I am running these um, uh, so here is something also the live and all these things there which I have not configured security I have you can always do it adjust it exactly the way you want it okay so there are something interesting uh, the SharePoint file operation where client IP with previously unseen user agent means this client has not been used in the past um, so let's have a look what i'm going to do now is to uh, basically go back to hunting so i don't need that So there were some admin account activities. Let's try. Okay, I'll try with this one even more interesting. Right, so let me just view query result and I'm trying to hide this. Uh, I wanted to hide. Give me a second here, so I want to hide. I'm supposed to be hiding, guys. Excuse. All right, so it's even better now. So what I'm going to see is something. So there are a number of ways which uh, we'll have to see what are those activities and if you look at the time range all right so we have seen something here admin activities which i can recall what activities i have been doing it so operation was done install admin audit log admin activity originating server is one of those microsoft server so if you're an exchange administrator you know what i'm talking about here uh then based on my investigation i will have to make uh, something so if you're working a security person uh, then you will have to then redirect it to the exchange team in this case particular and they will have to investigate so i'm not gonna go and do the investigation here but uh giving you the idea what happens and these kind of activities you have to be watchful like set over mailbox policies mailbox permission and user type is dc admin so basically one of those activities then uh, it's not specific to some suspicious activity coming from like the unknown location or something so this is look like microsoft uh, and uh, like uh, microsoft may be doing something in the back end so that could be the reason in that case so then in, in a situation like this you just have to give it back or give this information to microsoft uh, or your exchange engineering team and they will look into this and they will hunt or figure it out okay if it's really um, legitimate or something suspicious going on and basically for these type of activities you gotta have some uh thing alert monitoring team going to your SOC team going to your incident response team whichever uh so you know uh, it can be a lot of work uh we have looked into this previously we just talked about it this one because an agreement activities of microsoft may have performed some activities there 
All right, so what we're going to do next here, I was going to share some SharePoint here. So we're going to look into SharePoint one, which I started initially looking to SharePoint file activity. We go click here, we run the query, or we run the query directly from here. You can look into the technique if you wanted to, you go to an open page and you can find the mitre attack and techniques everywhere here. So I'm going to run the query here. I am going to see the query result here. And then we'll look into that, uh, what's going on. Uh, again, time range, you can change it. Here, I have only one page. Uh, there are some services, one note. Okay, so again, I've been using one note, doesn't sound suspicious, so it depends. Uh, since I know it, I've been using it, so that's why it kind of makes sense. So this is where, uh, if you see this kind of activity, if you wanted to set up alert uh, from security operations, security SOC, you do that. But when it comes to Azure Sentinel hunting, when it comes to a subject matter expert, when you come to engineering stuff, where you have to dig into those and see what's going on in your environment. So as an engineer, security engineer, sentinel engineer, you'll have to dig into those. You have to figure it out. Okay, what's going on? What is normal environment in my environment, and what is not uh, uh, normal in my environment? So basically, this is important for you to understand. And, and then take uh, action accordingly and this is all agents and everything so i hope that makes sense one thing i can show you here is you can set the time range here you can run it to again seven days you can change it okay there were no activities in the last seven days whichever the case is so here is another so i'm going to share one more before i wrap this up you can go back here and look for some more hunting uh, if there are some activities going on into the environment, so anomalous, anomal, anomalous sign-in activities. So give me a second. Let me just. All right. So we have this anomalous uh, sign-in activity. If you wanted to, any find any anomaly. Uh, and then we can see that it's worth checking it out because this is the one of the most common scenario. Um, we have these happen in the last few days and you'll have to, I'm not going to go more like, uh, you can see from here evidence is showing, okay, false, uncommon high volume of action and all these micro this is coming from microsoft graph so maybe pretty much microsoft 365 exchange admin center i know i used it uh so that's why it's there i'm gonna sure so if you see the microsoft graph ip address is different so this is coming from microsoft basically and microsoft 360 security in compliance so i use that i logged in when i lost the microsoft so you know so again this is an engineering uh, thing from when you work from a SOC analyst you may not be dealing with that so again the reason i'm telling you again again is i have a variety of videos available where i'm talking about SOC analyst job and all that so this is really specific to azure sentinel or security sentinel related stuff so you'll have to look into that and figure it out yourself And see if there are any interesting thing happening so we're doing for the last 30 days all these techniques and everything there so this will tell you the total result of the queries and everything available here you can run all queries so you literally can run all queries so uh i would not recommend you would want to only run the query but if you do run it it's going to take a lot of time my environment is slow or not too much data but uh i don't see a reason that it will cause any issue it may not because running on those because this is the beauty of the cloud you should be running it so i'll go run it so kind of give you an idea of what happens and now all the queries when you can see are running here and it's going to take some time 
and after some time we'll see some more updated data updated result here if there are any changes if not then result will remain same which i hope it remains same and then um, here uh, you can see uh, if you click on those you can see the type of this see queries going up 100 queries 105 result count is from jump from 11 to 13 here and queries being run is 100 it should 197 so as you can see this counter is going up and up so i'll just keep this video running so you can get an idea of the live environment uh, how these queries are being run and uh, i'll wait for it to come to 197 and gets completed all right so we'll just still wait and see if there are any significant changes it's gone up from 11 to 15. i'm sorting by result here so now when i'm sorting with the result as you can see um this is give me like more details here 340 related to active directory 330 related to ad new admin account activity related to office 365 now with 106 related to sign in logs we are looking at sharepoint 11 sharepoint um, ip which has not seen before so these are the things, these are the stuff, um, you know, when you work as um, a Sentinel um, security engineer, Microsoft Cloud Security Sentinel, these are stuff you have to look into that, dig into that. And from there, uh, you can find out more details. So, so since I have 100 and active, that's why showing 155. So in my next video, I'll show you how to leverage the remaining one, because as I said before, Microsoft keep adding more and more. So in my next video, I'll show you how to add more queries. So that's it for now. I'll wrap it up. If you like it, let me know. Provide me feedback. Share, like it, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and bye.